All right, so uh, hold on a second. Make sure this is running. Yes, it is. All right, so we're back. Uh, and I, I had so many customers coming in. So uh, I had to take care of some other stuff. Anyway, this is that 04 Nissan Maxima 3.5. It ended up needing the knock sensor. The knock sensor is down in the, uh, the V canal, which is underneath of the intake manifold. The upper intake or lower intake manifold goes here. I'll show you in a second. Uh, hold on. Okay, so this is the old one. I already got the new one cleaned up. This is the old one, how it goes. It sits down inside there. It holds your injectors. And you have uh, you have gaskets that go on here. Then you have the bolts go in to hold it in. You got four better nuts, and then uh, the rest. I think there's uh, actually I think there's four that are uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, four that are bolts. They're torque spec down. You go in. This is your fuel rail. Your fuel rail gets folded on there, oh, spill it. and uh, and then your injectors are in here. That being said, uh, my customer was getting the code, though it's not uh, related to my install. Um, you know, sometimes you feel guilty. Uh, I decided to put. Um, just to put remove it and put the one put one in there for them. Uh, while I got it off, I am going to do his valve covers. Since I'm going to do his valve covers, I'm also going to put uh, I'm going to put new plugs in for him. So bear with me. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I might pause this. Well, anyway, I'm probably not even going to pause this. I might end this here. I don't know. But uh, what I want to say, that's right. That's why I wanted to do this. Um, in with doing this, there's a whole bunch of prep work. Even I, who I don't really, I, I do install a, a salvage motors and salvage transmissions. Usually I try to go with a more higher end, less mileage, longer um, uh, warranty uh, warranties on them I like to get something that's got I would like to stick with a minimum of six months some salvage yards also have uh, remand motors you know they also sell them it would be good to do a Jasper but realistically the Jasper motors costs are are very phenomenal so on a vehicle this year, uh, you wouldn't invest that kind of money into it. Um, I would just, on another note, I would just like to say that, uh, um, that I sometimes say things in these videos that kind of sounds derogatory, and it's not in no way. Um, when I say things like, yeah, uh, at another shop or whatnot, you know, I don't say that in the factor of like, I don't, I'm not factoring in the mechanic or nowadays they call them technicians. Years ago, a technician was like a lube technician. Somebody changed oil. Now they flipped the mechanic because a mechanic was somebody who could take things apart and put them back together in a mechanical fashion. They knew the mechanics of it. Uh, nowadays, mechanics are technicians because the majority of them, like this right here, this car, I believe this, this car may have a timing chain. So, that being said, I'm replacing all of his cam sensors and everything else with his other ones because he had no problems with them, uh, just to alleviate any problems, plus new plugs, and, and uh, I think he's actually getting, these are two new uh, coils on here, I think I'm going to have, I'm going to get one more and throw it on the back because the intake manifold goes over and I'll show you that I think I'll make another video all that being said coming back to the point the point is that uh, when I say certain things about you know other shops I don't mean other technicians what happens is because I own my shop 
Um, and if you Google review me, Yelp, whatever you want to look it up, um, I got high uh, approval rate because I always go above and beyond. Like this motor right here, this is done, but he had a knock sensor code. I could have just left it at that and said, okay, well, we can pull the intake and I'll change out the knock sensor because I did test it. The sensor is for the motor we got from the junkyard was bad, which shouldn't be bad because they sold me a good motor. That's another story. Um, but, and because this is my shop, I'm able to say, okay, well, I'm going to change that out. I'm not going to charge you any additional money, uh, but I'm able to do that. Uh, while I'm in there, since it's all exposed, the valve covers somewhat come off pretty quickly. Um, uh, the coil pack's got to come off to do the valve covers, and the spark plugs are right there. So he's getting a $1,000 job additional to the motor install um, for literally for parts. And uh, my customer is going to watch this review or this video on YouTube. Um, because he, he, I think he watches my videos. Anyway, that being said, uh, this is about a thousand dollar job he asked anyone anywhere else. They're getting it. Now, that doesn't mean that another shop that won't work on your car for free is a bad shop. What it is, is it's called micromanaging and that's how the system is. Uh, if they came in and they installed the motor for let's just say five hundred dollars and then you had all these additional things that need to be transferred so then you get an additional five hundred dollars and then after the motor's in there then you gotta do what i'm doing right now they would add on whatever that is so now you're looking at about a grand if not more um i have the ability to do that a lot of shops a lot of places don't because it's more about the bottom line than it is about anything else. That's not a technician or a mechanic issue. That's the, um, it's the way of the world. With that being said, remember something. Um, you get what you pay for. Uh, always do the best you possibly can. Work as hard as you possibly can. Um, God always provides. Thank you for watching, Parker Automotive. Uh, God bless you and God bless America.